Hello everyone. everyone. We, we sit down together. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you. Some That's people spooky. say we're in, in, umbilically, umbilically, uh, umbilically, connected. umbilically, umbilically connected. I suppose we are really. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's times like this when I'm looking at a camera and then you start answering me and I start answering you and you think, oh, finish each other's sentences. There you go. Simon's anyway. twins, or whatever. <laughs> anyway, why yes, are we here? We've come up. We wanted to have a quick discussion about the word publisher. Now, what happened was this is something that always baffled me, always baffled Mark. But we actually thought we were the only ones, and so you don't kind of pursue the idea at all. But it was somebody made a comment and said something that always has always baffled them is why are they called when you're on the ministry why is it that every single jehovah's witness are called publishers in fact even in their yearbooks every year they count <laughs> and it's actually uh, let me give you the touch of what they say Bear with me oh where's it gone where's it gone there's a, a list i'm just trying to find the list you should have had this oh, I did, but it, fe it fell open. Well, she, she should have had it repair, uh, prepared. Prepared. <clears throat> Talk amongst yourselves, it's fine. Here, Here we, go. we go, we've got it. <laughs> right, grand totals. Grand okay. totals. Now, when they talk about, it says, um, peak of publishers of kingdom service, average publishers of preaching each month, <laughs> average auxiliary pioneer publishers each month, average pioneer publishers each month. So the word publisher basically is, is encompassing all witnesses, whether they are regular, auxiliary, pioneer, um, uh, you know, normal, average um, kingdom publishers. So we call, they're called publishers. So I always wondered, and this comment said, why are they called publishers as opposed to ministers or preachers or teachers? And Mark and I suddenly said, so really, that's something we always wondered, we always wondered, but it's nice to see that other people are also thinking and asking the same question. Why call them publishers? Yeah. So we, we decided to do a little bit of um, info and find we did. some info out we, on We it. thought, well, we looked through uh, certain books, we couldn't find anything on no. publishers. And then, of course, the one blinding book that we should have gone straight to, first of all, was this one? Do you remember this one? We've done a little bit of work on this one recently for other things. And um, if you look under the requirements of unbaptized publisher uh, within this book, you, you get quite a bit of an insight as to what they're trying to associate a publisher with. And this is where it gets very confusing because they come out with some credentials here as to what a publisher is. But actually, really, shouldn't that be what a Christian is? Exactly. But anyway, we all know this is a money-making business that they're involved with and therefore a publisher, as we'll come on to define in a, in a few minutes as to what the dictionary terminology for publisher is, um, we'll see where that lies in parallel with what the Watchtower definition is of a publisher. Because they're a publishing house, but obviously yes. we'll go on. We will. So on page 79 of the Organised to Accomplish, uh, to do Jehovah's Will, you can qualify for one of these, which I'll come on to in a minute. <laughs> this is a very special book for Jehovah's Witnesses, because when you've got one of these, you have you made, made it. it. <laughs> See, we're doing it again. <laughs> right, anyway. Okay, page 79. And it says there, the presiding overseer will arrange to have two elders, one being a member of the Congregation Service Committee, to discuss this matter with you and the Bible student. They will consider the following points, and this is to make you an unbaptized publisher, okay? These are the things that you have to get right in order to be a publisher. <laughs> Remember, publisher. Publisher. Do the person's expression show that he believes that the Bible is the inspired word of God? What's that got to do with publishing? Next one. Does he know and believe the, bio, the basic teachings of the scriptures so that when asked questions, he will answer in harmony with the Bible and not according to false religious teachings or his own ideas? I thought that one was fascinating. I mean, like they do all the time. <laughs> can you imagine that? Can you imagine? Let, can we just read that one again? Does he now? Does he know and believe the basic teachings of the scriptures, so that when Bible asks questions, he will answer in harmony with the Bible, and not according to false religious teachings 
and his own ideas. Fascinating. <laughs> is he heeding the Bible's command to associate with Jehovah's people for congregation meetings if he is physically and circumstantially can? Does he know what the Bible teaches about fornication, adultery, polygamy, homosexuality? And is he living in harmony with such teachings? If the person is living with one of the opposite sex, are they properly married? How can you be unproperly married? Well, you're, you're either married or you're not married. Don't, don't get us started on that <laughs> oh, one, darling. True, yeah. We were unproperly married. <laughs> yes, don't get me started on that one. Anyway, does he heed the Bible's prohibition of drunkenness? <laughs> this made us laugh. Hey, does he heed the Bible's prohibition of drunkenness? <laughs> <laughs> you mean that they have to be drunk? All Is the time? he free <laughs> from all non medical use of addictive and mind altering natural or synthetic? substances well can i just say there must be 90 percent of jehovah's witnesses that have got drunk and therefore have disfellowshipped themselves from being publishers at some point or other i, I can name one of them which we passed on the street today his head down <laughs> miserable as sin yes you know you are don't you elder yeah. yes yes my dear wife said hello to you yes. and you look like you had a face like a slap well you know what i'm talking about don't you but we'll leave that there does he see the value of avoiding unwholesome association? Has he definitely broke off membership in all false religious organizations with which he may have been affiliated? And has he ceased attending service meetings and supporting or sharing in their activities? Bear with us. Is he free from all involvement in the political affairs of the world? United Nations. <laughs> They've just been quoted. Does he believe and live in harmony with what the Bible says at Isaiah 2 4 about the affairs of the nations? And lastly, does he really want to be one of Jehovah's Witnesses? Right. Well, take out some of those questions and keep some of them in. And they are all qualifications that you would probably want to adhere to if you started fearing and wanting to listen to what the Gospels were saying. Very, very true. But some of the other ones obviously are extremely dubious as regards um, do you want to be one of Jehovah's Witnesses, for instance. But what we're trying to get out here is those are all of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bullet points mm. that you need to um, uh, be able to say 100% yes to and actually for people to know that that's the case before you can become a publisher. 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 Now... If you get to that point where you've you've reached the qualification of being a publisher, then it says here on 81, page 81, that once the elders determine uh, that the Bible student qualifies to engage in the field ministry, he is eligible, eligible to receive his own copy of the organised to do Jehovah's Will. <laughs> and after he reports field service for the first time, a brief announcement should be made to the congregation that he is a new unbaptized publisher publisher i know i forgot to bring up what's that there's a we've got a publisher's card wait is that what you're going to come on to no you carry on publisher's card and basically once you're a publisher they give you a card in which then stays with the secretary of the congregation where they log your activity so every month when you put your field service report in and you've done how many hours you've done and how many books you've placed how many return visits you've made how many bible studies you've got all of that information gets transferred onto your permanent card which is then kept with the secretary of the congregation yeah. and then yeah. if you move congregations that card goes with you. Well, I've got my mum's old one downstairs and it shows quite quite clearly of when we were um, inactive, meaning we weren't actually part of a congregation, we weren't reporting every month. Mm. And I remember being in and out my entire life. And this particular point, it says on the bottom, reactivated, and it gives the date that my mum became a publisher again. So what made me wonder, well, in that point of between pub being a publisher and an inactive and then being an active publisher, does that mean that she then was no longer a Jehovah's Witness? Because it makes out in here that unless you are 
a publisher, and everybody will know this, unless you are out on the ministry or doing some form of ministry as a publisher, mm. you are considered an inactive, unspiritual person. And you're no longer really a, a Jehovah's, Jehovah's Witness. Witness. So, so basically, when you are dedicating yourself through baptism, you are dedicating yourselves not as they would have you know it as an outward ex uh, outward expression of your dedication to Jehovah. Mm. As when I was baptised, um, I'd already dedicated myself. So the baptism side of it, where I was immersed in water, was an outward expression to everyone else. And this is what they told me that it would be. And this is mm. what I always had in my head, was an outward expression to everyone else that I was now calling myself a Jehovah's Witness, a dedicated servant of jehovah god what i didn't realize was actually when you break that down you're not dedicating your life to god in front of everybody you're dedicating your life to be a publisher for the publishing house of the watchtower bible and tract society under the guise of the name jehovah's witness and, and to back that up if you uh if you've still got one of these books around a bit further on in uh, a bit earlier in on page 81 to what cora was just saying here and I quote, the elders um, can explain that when a Bible student qualifies uh, as an unbaptized publisher and reports field service for the first time, a congregation's publisher record card is made out in his name and, con and included into the congregation file. So he's, he becomes a publisher he gets a publisher record card. <laughs> Which okay? then follows you for the rest of your life. Yeah. <laughs> in the good times, in the bad times. Yeah. In that's activity, your card. activity. And this is the bit that's really interesting after that. So once that card is in the congregation file, this is what happens next. Uh, and is included in the congregation file. Then it says they can assure him. They can assure him that all the elders take an interest in the field service reports that are turned in each month they can assure him okay and this is what the uh, unbaptized publisher will be told we're watching the you. elders are now watching you <laughs> and from this point onwards you're now on record because you now have a publisher record card yeah can you imagine think back to those days when this happened to you you would have gone through a book this one or a book like it where the elders, where it's actually told that the elders will be saying, we take an avid interest in these records. Mm. And I can remember a day, um, a few years ago, where I walked in, I was exhausted from um, uh, being up a few nights with uh, a very young baby at the time. And, um, and it went on for weeks and I, I was missing my ministry. And in the end, as I walked into the hall, like a zombie this one evening, the uh, service overseer took me to one side as I was walking in, tapped me and said, can I, I need to speak to you. No, hello, how are you? Can I speak to you? Real serious look on his face. Never forget it. Took me to one side. I've just walked in through the Kingdom Hall door. It was a hot evening. I remember it. And he got me even hotter. And then he said, I've noticed I've been looking at your publisher card. And I've noticed your hours are really down. Um, why is that? That's exactly what he said. Not, hello, Mark, how are you? How's the family doing? What's going on? Are you okay? Is there anything we can do to help? Uh, would you like to come round for some tea one night? You know, let's uh, come round for a barbecue. That would have been lovely. No. no. Your hours are down. Mm. Why is that? So they do, and I'm sure there are many experiences out there where people are nodding, thinking that's exactly what's happened to me. Mm. And, and it does happen. So they do take a real interest, Avid interest in your publisher record. This has absolutely nothing to do with spirituality, with, spirituality, no. with Christianity at all. Do you know, we looked up the word publisher in the dictionary, and I'm going to read it. It says, a publisher... A person or a company engaged in the business of publishing books, newspapers, music, software, etc. Publishing, the activity or trade of a publisher or of publishers collectively. It includes the selection or commissioning of material for publication, production of books, magazines, 
newspapers, audiovisual material, and computer-based information and marketing. Mm. That's why all of you are called publishers, because you are pushing the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society's literature, because they're a publishing house. It has nothing to do with spirituality. We were thinking about the first century Christians. And the first century Christians, um, we were thinking about when Christ used to welcome the young children. Yeah. Do you remember what we were yeah. saying about that earlier? About how um, he would sit there and he would welcome these ones to him. And he wouldn't be tapping them on the head and go, you're a publisher now. You know, he yeah. would be welcoming them to him for a spiritual a spiritual. Let side. the children come to Let me. The children They're come now my to publishers. I don't, happen, would I it? don't think he meant it to sound like that, did there, he? There's a lot of there's a lot of things in the Bible that aren't I mean, people nitpick at different words. For example, mm. they say um, things like the word Trinity isn't in the Bible. They say there's lots of different words around that aren't in the Bible. The word publisher is not in the Bible. No. The word organisation is not in the Bible. There's a lot of words that the organisation use that are not in the Bible, and yeah. yet they get away with it because they, 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 they nitpick at everybody else, but they don't actually point the finger at themselves. Judicial committee. It is a judicial committee, oh, exactly. What's that in the Bible? Yeah. And yet the reason I'm, I've just gone over there and I've grabbed all of this stuff is you might hear it sounds like sweets, but unfortunately it's not. Uh, this is all in, in nice crispy plastic. This is all the stuff that's on the Satan racks that um, somebody very close to us picked up the other day. This is all the stuff going on as a publisher. This is, as a publisher, I am marketing this for my corporation. Yeah. That's what it's about. So you may say, well, they don't sell it though. No, they don't sell it. But that's strictly that they, they stopped selling it years ago. For tax reasons. For tax reasons. That. And so, to get out of that one. And that's the whole point. Yeah. If they could still sell it today legitimately, they still would be. Well, they still get fact, that they, money. But they still do in, in um, third world countries. Yeah, well, and they they also, still charge for it, don't they? they is I, it think, I believe they do. But they yeah. also still get all their money back, as we already know. Because yeah. you as publishers will, we'll donate, will donate, donate. The, money, the money anyway. Yeah. And we all know now, as you're about to be announced, if it hasn't been announced already, I think it was last week, yeah. uh, that you are now on all sorts of financial constraints. You uh, have to give a tithe, Yeah, you, you are tithing now. So yeah. we, we brought this up, this whole issue of publishing, for a very good reason, is because the, as a Jehovah's Witness, your second name is Publisher. It's not Christian. No. It's nothing to do with Christianity. It's you, a publisher. You will, it's exactly what you are. You will argue to your blue in the face with somebody on the ministry when they say, but you're not Christian. And you'll say, yes, we are. We're footstep followers of Christ. Well, actually, Christ didn't push publications on people. No, he didn't. Actually, he didn't no. even push the Bible on people. What he did was he brought faith to the world, not religion. And you, you, you do the opposite. You try and force people... To, ha to have your literature and use that to guide yourself through, guide them with the Bible. You don't allow them to just read the Bible. They no. have to have your books and your publications by the side of them in order to have a study. We, we've done other, uh, we've done another video looking at the organised to uh, do Jehovah's Will, this, this green book. We've seen those 104 questions that you have to go through before you can qualify to become a fully baptised publisher. Mm. Um, and you can see from that that if you read all of the legalisms in that book, there are many there that um, you have to qualify for before you can even think about claiming yourself as some sort of pseudo-Christian. So it, it's not really something that is, is definite, that we can guarantee that you are anything other than um, a, a member of a sales team mm. for the Watchtower Society. Mm. and to push to their push, publications. push the publications and grow the empire mm. and that's exactly what's happening in monetary terms at the very least this organization is growing extremely big in a financial st uh, setup mm. so we just wanted to share that with you to get the old uh, thinking matter going mm. and i hope that was interesting it was certainly interesting to us yeah and so, it was nice to know that we weren't the only ones thinking yeah. about the same thing and and uh, we've mentioned to a few other people as well and they've all gone yeah we always wondered that so yeah. nice to know you're not alone <laughs> i'm a jehovah's witness publisher yeah uh, what does that mean and so in our version we've tried to explain it as best we can by saying that really what are you? Because uh, as far as we're concerned, it ain't Christian. And also, you also point out um, quite often 
that you you're very close to the first century Christians and you follow them closely mm, yeah. in the sense you you know you're Bible students well I, I am sorry but you couldn't be further away from them because no. you say oh, we go door to door well when they went door to door if they went door to door it was to talk about Christ and the message that he was bringing to the world you go to door to door and push your publications on people mm. you are made to leave a publication with the person you are forced to give them a leaflet to leave them with a ma magazine to then if once you have that regular magazine route to then get them to have a book and then go through that book with them and eventually get them into a study so mm. And before you say, well, that's, those, these are Christians. tools for the Bible, just be very careful there, because these <laughs> tools for the Bible are the ones that you're now burying in mass tons exactly. uh, from, from previous publications, which are now actually coming back to haunt you. Mm. So you can't say that they're tools for the ministry. They certainly are not. Mm. And I had a discussion with a brother this morning on the phone, and his, uh, his lovely dear wife uh, asked him a question. Uh, they're, no, they're no longer witnesses, and... Um, but she said uh, to him a while back, imagine you're, you're stuck on a desert island and all you had was a Bible. And you read that Bible and you didn't know anything else about religion. And you read your Bible. Would you come to the conclusion that Jehovah's Witnesses come to regarding all of their doctrines from the Bible just by reading it? No. Of course you wouldn't. No. It would be a nonsense to think that you would. Mm. So I, I thought that was a very good way of looking at it. Being isolated and reading the Bible, you would not come up with the Jehovah's Witness theory. No. At all. No. That's taken years of practice for them to get it absolutely yeah, tuned. Certainly has. And that's why they've they've had to get rid of all their old literature where they've um made they've mistakes. Made mistakes. <laughs> and rather than say sorry, they've hidden them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But just, anyway, yeah. so when you get your report every month and you're putting your report in as you yeah. your publishing and you're slaves and to, to go, the rhythm to go towards their um peak publisher announcements at the end of their yeah. every year for their yearbooks just have a little think about exactly what it is you're doing yeah because it might not be what you think it is i actually really like that record i'm just trying to think of what was in it. it was the she's a, a i can't remember her name slave to the rhythm what was the name of the she's in james slave to the rhythm. slave to the rhythm do you know the one yeah i know the one starts off with a design of a ding at the beginning brilliant record i always think of witnesses when i think of that one now <laughs> Anyway, yeah. we're not slaves to the rhythm anymore. No, are we? my oh. birthday today. Yeah, happy it's the third birthday, video darling. we've done today. Thank you. Yeah. My lovely flowers behind me. Beautiful. So, so I'm going to go and have a glass of wine and have something yes. nice to eat now. So I'm going to start goodbye. slaving in the kitchen now. Yeah. So anyway, but thank you very much for listening. And, and um, guess what day it is tomorrow? What day is it? Tomorrow? It's Saturday tomorrow. And guess yes. what we're not doing tomorrow morning? What? Publishing. Oh, good grief. <laughs> we're not publishing. <laughs> we're not no. going on the ministry to be publishers. No, no return visits. Yay. Hey, lovely stuff. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye. Bye for now.